another tough slog, but we've made it to another Friday. This is Money Flippin' Matt Richards, kicking off the party to see who's a smarty who's happy the week's over. Hmm? No, you are. And Reggie, you are too, right? Reggie, of course Reggie, Reggie. Every day's the weekend when you're a bear. I don't know what that means, but it seems accurate. Whew, okay. Maybe you don't have your dream job. Not a lot of people do. But I wouldn't be surprised about an HQD landing a great one because you folks are problem solvers, okay? We're gonna test your skills once again this very night on this very app. A demanding dozen questions are about to squeeze whatever wisdom it can get from your gray matter. All right, with the winner splitting up 5,000 green and crinklies. That's money, y'all. Yeah, $5,000. And if that's not a big enough thrill, we might be able to get you a VIP ticket. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you get one, you'll be eligible for the $1,250 VIP pot, which will be split among the winning ticket uh, holders. <laughs> the winning ticket game holders. That's what I almost said. Woo! As long as we sell 75 tickets, but you gotta act fast. The sales stop at 125. All righty. And we always got a great charity to tell you about here at HQ. Tonight's no different. Look at all the great work being done by City Harvest, getting fresh, nutritious food to the food insecure of New York City. City Harvest works with food donors, community food programs, residents, businesses, and other organizations in high-need neighborhoods across New York City to make it easier for residents to access and prepare nutritious food. Since helping to start the food rescue movement in 1982, they've rescued and delivered over 850 million pounds of food that would have otherwise gone to waste to help feed over a million New Yorkers in need. Great work. And HQ's making a donation to be a part of the solution. And we got a message from their CEO, right? Yep. Jilly, take it Hi, away. Hi, HQTs. I'm Jilly Stevens, CEO of City Harvest. The need for food has surged during the pandemic, and we've especially seen that in children, with one in three children today experiencing hunger. That's the reason we run our Share Lunch Fight Hunger campaign, which is just getting underway. You can learn more about that at cityharvest.org, and you can text LUNCH to 20222 right now to make a $15 donation. Now have fun, and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Jilly. Like she said, you can text LUNCH to 20222 to give $15 or head to cityharvest.org and give another amount. All right. I'm going to text it right now. Let, let my phone over there, but I'm going to text it later. I got you, Jilly. All right, right before Q1, Sunday is Mother's Day, and we at HQ are observing it in full with the mother of all quizzes. Mothers past, present, and fictional are all fair game in just two nights. Okay, and you can't call mom for help because you'll be using your phone. <laughs> so, are you all set to mount these horses, ride out into the old trivia trail, and then try to rope all 12 doggies? Or dogies? To the moon! <laughs> I'm trying to rope all the dogies. Yeah! The best way to head into a weekend is with one more Friday accomplishment notch. So let's make this one count, babies! Mmm! If you can take on a quiz as hard as ours, you've already got the courage you need to get through life. The knowledge is all that remains. All right, and right now, there's nothing to it but to HQ it. Question number one. Let's go to work. Mm. Q1. Which of these is among the most financially successful music acts of the 21st century? Ludwig Bach, von Beethoven, Bruno Mars, or Stephen Hawking? Carrot. All right. <laughs> Ludwig had some hits, but remember, we said 21st century, okay? And Stephen Hawking's involvement in music was quite limited. Uh, so that just leaves Bruno. Bruno's better live, too. 36,828 players. Got that one right at Q1. Good job, babies. 24 carat magic in the air. Had to do his old player. <clears throat> I'm never going to try that again. Q2, which animal is known to roll into a ball when threatened? Armadillo, raccoon, or skunk? Nature gives out all kinds of defense mechanisms, but the skunk has the most offensive defense. And raccoons are more likely to kind... Thousand 
Watson. 533 players got it right. Armadillo. That's it. Okay. Question number three. Who is credited with discovering penicillin? Alexander Fleming, Jonas Salk. All right, a lot of lives got saved by these three, but one of them cured polio and another established badly, badly needed hospitals. But bacterial infections took a punch, bow, when Fleming discovered penicillin by accident. Quite a story. 27,329 players got it right. Alexander Fleming. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which island is not divided between just two nations? Borneo, Hispaniola, or New Guinea? Who's it gonna be, y'all? Some islands are big enough to have two countries on them. Like the way Haiti and the Dominican Republic divvy up Hispaniola. And a very similar split puts Indonesia and Papua New Guinea on New Guinea. But there are three countries on Borneo. Yep, 19,548 players got that one right at Q4. Whittling away at the Brainiacs. That's what we doing over here. All right, babies, let's go to work. I, 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 question five, question five. I, 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 question five. Ah, yeah, ah. Ooh, it's for the children. All right, Q5. When toy collectors discuss Mochu, they're likely discussing figures from what franchise? G.I. Joe, He-Man, or Marvel? Okay, it sounds like it could be a character from any of these, but it's an acronym for Masters of the Universe. The classic He-Man line. I have the power! <laughs> and it's by the power of Grayskull! Yeah, man, 18,910 players got that right. Sometimes I leave that on for my, for my dogs when I run out the house. They just sit there and watch He-Man or, or Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Word. <laughs> ch 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 chippendales Rescue Rangers, ch 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 chippendales when there's danger. Oh, no, it never fails. They'll take the moves and find the... Let me stop. Let me stop. All right. Whew. <laughs> Okie dokie. Question number six, and it goes a little something like this. Which TV show would most likely be described as Anodyne? Full House, Game of Thrones, or South Park? Yes. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. An adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. I'm going to sing the full song later because I have to start it from the beginning. All right, you might prefer anodyne, an anodyne approach, or you might be bored by it. It means inoffensive and non-provocative, unlike Game of Thrones and very unlike South Park. But Full House. Asaf, you know how this one starts? The Full House theme song? Yeah, because I always get it confused with uh, Family Matters. Rare condition, this day and age, to read any good news. That's Family Matters. We just did Family Matters together. How the heck does Full House start? Chicka for chicka for jaw. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Miss your old familiar friends waiting just around the bend. Question seven's here. Question seven. It's the seven. Okay. <laughs> the phone to hold on to. Sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. Question seven. Which of these is not a mascot from Five Nights at Freddy's? Billy, Freddy, or Chica? You lost out there and you're all alone. Life is waiting to carry you home. Everywhere. I think... I just went back to Family Matters. Dang. It 
was the same dude. He was making money, man. Yeah, I think so. He wrote both, right? <laughs> Magic you and mystery, that? a part of their history, along That's with cool. the secrets of gummy berry juice. All right. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz Pizza definitely had a creepy edge to their mascots back in the day. This game just made it a little more real, okay? But they never bought a Billy into the mix. So if you pick Billy, you got Q7 right. 15,573 players just knocked it out of the park. You go get some tickets and go claim them in for a little Chinese finger trap. Get your fingers stuck. Right? That's, that was a prize at Chuck E. Cheese. Remember them little finger traps? And then, um, the little popper things and the sticky hands that always got dirty after five minutes with lint and hair and pizza crust. Question number eight. <laughs> Which of these books is written by someone known for their name being printed in lowercase? The Enormous Room, A Room with a View, or A Room of One's Own? Oh, man. I used to love DuckTales. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. A mystery. Beginning or rewrite history. DuckTales. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. A great poet on top of a novelist, Edward Eslin. Edward Eslin Cunnings. Uh, like the name E.E. E. Cummings. Uh, all lowercase, no periods, though. It's hard to find that styling on a copy of The Enormous Room. Still quite a read. 13,887 players got that one right. Edward Eslin Cummings. Question number nine. The director of which recent Oscar-winning film has a name that sounds like a gem and a plant? The Father, Promising Young Woman, or Sound of Metal? Alrighty. Some people's names are just built different, whether it's an artist's name or a show-off parent. You know, sometimes you get regular nouns in your name, just like Emerald Fennel of Promising Young Woman fame. Easy to remember, just like the movie. 12,513 players got that one right. We got three more questions till we find out who's getting the cash and doing the dash. Hi, hey girl. Congratulations. All right. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. No part of the brain that's responsible for speech is named for whom? A Frenchman, a German, or a Greek? I went Greek. Spin it when you win it, when you spin it, spin it, spin it. <laughs> Tailspin. Okay, I couldn't be hosting this game if the human brain didn't come with the uh, Wernicke area. Named for Carl Wernicke of Germany. And also uh, Broca's area named for Pierre Paul Broca of France. Broca. Um, the Greeks gave more to our language than our speech. 9,154 players got it right at Q10. Two more questions are all that stand between you and your share of 5K. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven. The final legal cigarette ad aired on US television was for a brand targeted to whom? Dieters, urban markets, or women? Those old oval screen TVs used to tell people to smoke until one minute before midnight on January 1st, 1971, when it all ended with the last ad for Virginia Slims, a brand for the ladies. People kept buying them anyway, though. 9,091 players got that right. Women! Oh, sexy cigarettes. Get out of here with your nonsense. Character... Or which I had a Virginia Slim in college. It's not a mascot for FNAF. They're strong enough for a woman, Chica. but a man can have one too. <laughs> That's not me saying go smoke anybody. Which is not. All right. Good. Question number 12. Final question of the game. <laughs> but I got it right. Q12. 
because of you. The non-Ivy League independent American university with the largest endowment is where? California, Indiana, or Massachusetts? Ivy. I'm just thinking about how hard I would be laughing if I had to read this question on After Dark. Uh, Harvard is the king of colleges with about 40 billion in the bank. Yale comes in second, but right in the third spot is the first non-Ivy. The one named for Leland and Jane Stanford over in California, A. California! Woo! 2,899 players, just one HQ, baby! Let's go! Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. Find adventures that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. Yeah, man. <laughs> gummy bears. They would drink their gummy berry juice and bounce on their booties. I wanted to taste it. They made it look scrumptious, didn't it? Woo! What other cartoon? Tell us in the chat. Okay, shout out to Manja... Manjama. Uh, C. Welly Gigo. Quiz Danny. Zacko Boy. Eddie Boy. <laughs> Big Ben Broad. Keaton Mickle. Uh, Arnaldo. DDR151. Torrance M. Splash Cat. Do not splash your cat. They might scratch you. Okay? Blackie, Falcon, just to name a few. Dollar and some change going out to everybody. That was a very formidable performance, as always. You clearly got the skills to go far. And uh, I know we are honored that you took the time to come and kick it with us. Remember, we do this every night, so don't be a stranger, okay? And remember, Sunday is the big Mother's Day game. Brush up on all things maternal. Maybe even play with someone who knows all about motherhood. If you're a mother, you got a leg up. Okay, and remember that charity... City Harvest, helping so many people stay fed for so many years. Text lunch to 20222 to donate $15 or go to cityharvest.org to give another amount. All right, look them up, hook them up. Until we talk again, I'm Matt Richards saying yesterday was the National Day of Prayer, but things don't feel a lot better today. With the shape of things that we are in, I say we make it a whole week of prayer. You know what I'm saying? That can't hurt.